Top 5 at 5 is sponsored by East Texas Professional Credit Union. Now for your top five at five to get families what they need. Texas WIC has temporarily added more options for milk, bread, rice, pasta and eggs that you can buy at the grocery store. We have that updated list on our website at CBS 19 TV. And as a reminder, WIC or the Women, Infants and Children program helps pay for groceries. And if you've lost your job because of the coronavirus, you may qualify. TexasWIC.org is the site where you can apply for an appointment. Well, food banks are struggling to meet a surging demand. Thousands of people are lining up outside distribution centers across the country to feed their families. Brian Green in Houston says demand is up 150% from just two months ago. We're now averaging uh, close to a million pounds a day of actual distribution here, and we're still not meeting the need. He went on to say that being able to keep up with the labor is one of their biggest problems. In a normal year, they give out 80 million pounds of food. This food bank says they're more accustomed to emergencies like hurricanes where the need usually subsides in weeks. But with the pandemic, there is no end date. In cities shut down to avoid the spread of infection, sometimes the only people moving are delivery workers bringing food to people's doorsteps. For restaurants that have stayed open during the coronavirus outbreak, delivery workers are the backbone of their service. And to help protect them, major delivery apps, including DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub, are providing two weeks of sick pay for couriers diagnosed with COVID-19. One Fair Wage has started a fund for struggling service workers at oneemergencyfund.org. And while the coronavirus shut down schools and universities across the globe, some Texas colleges are already hard at work preparing to reopen their campuses. Texas A&M, Texas Tech, and Baylor are planning to reopen their campuses this coming fall. Of course, we'll keep an eye on our local and state universities and update the list as colleges continue to update their plans. Well, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to British World War II Captain Tom Moore. Captain Tom, as he prefers, turns 100 today, but that's not the only milestone we're celebrating. Captain Tom stepped onto the world stage with a charity walk around his garden, raising over $40 million to support health care workers. His original goal, just 1,200. Not only did he get thousands of birthday cards from around the globe, he got a birthday card from the Queen herself and a special message from the Prime Minister. The Royal Air Force even gave him a royal salute with two vintage Second World War fighters. And to cap off the day, the Queen promoted Captain Tom 